Um, I'm gonna randomize it three times. Yeah, this is basically the same. It's the, just the call time pre-con also, because it's the only deck I have. Um, but I just changed the commander so I can put more colors. <clears throat> That's cool. But it's pretty much the same, the pre-con deck. I did take some some stuff out. I basically like mixed, I had two pre-cons and I just kind of mixed some of the cards up. But um, no I, worries. I just, I just started playing Magic like maybe five months ago. So this is the only commander deck I have at the moment. Nice. All right. Hey, um, could you put your commander in Irag Aragnius? Just say Aragon. Just this Aragon. Aragon, okay. I think I'm actually in a mole. That was a really bad hand. Would oh. I have been okay though? Oh damn! Of course I would have been okay. Yeah, just started. Poop, nab it. That was still a really sketchy keep. I basically needed to draw like two or three lands right up top. Oh boy. Your cam go out, baby leg? Yeah, sorry. It's been, it's been, um, Giving me difficulties. Once I get it set, though, it should be good. It's just my fault. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> All right, I will keep this. To go. I'll be just waiting on baby legs. All right, one second, one second. Almost there. Continue. I should just get rid of this thing. You had time to mull if you want mull. No, I'm gonna keep it just for reasons. I got one more deck. It's the Shurikai deck. Yeah, I played a couple of decks with with that guy. It seems pretty cool. Sorry about that. It's hey, cool. You all set? I'm just doing a little baby shuffle here, but you can start it. They said that why did Kappa Cannon near? Sorry, what? Kappa Cannon near. I, I I have this card in the deck and I don't even think I use it. 
I've never heard of it. It's from the um, Buckle Up Precon deck. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten many Precons lately, so. All right. Yeah, it comes in at $22 right now. Wow. All right, I'll go ahead and start. Yeah, I'm good to go. Uh, I'm just going to play an island and pass. Okay. I'll draw. All right. I'm going to play a Myriad Landscape and pass. Draw for turn. I'll play a um, Azorius Guildgate and pass. Draw for fairy. Spicy. Hell oh, yeah. Um... Hmm. Play Arcane Sanctum, tab, and pass. Alright. I'll draw. And play a Snow Island and pass. Alright. I will draw. <clears throat> I'll play an Island, tap to and I'll play an Ithic Signet. Ithic Signet and pass. I can I get that up? English is hard, man. I'm going to play a, a Temple of Enlightenment tapped. Scrap one. Um, yeah, do I leave that there or no? Um, no, I'm probably... Well, sorry. Yeah, sure, I'll leave that there. Then I'll pass. <clears throat> I misplayed so hard in my last game. Fuck, I just realized how bad I misplayed. Uh-oh. I just, nah, in the game, somebody turned into my stuff and I forgot about it. He now that says, literally, on the card. Oh, the one more to target thing? Yes. Yeah, that's easy to forget about. I always forget about that, too. Play a forest. Tap planes. Play a forest. We'll put light paws, Emperor's voice, and I'll pass the turn. All right. Draw. Hmm. Plenty of sunken hollow. And then I will cast my commander. I don't have anything in my graveyard, so the trigger fizzles, and I'll pass. Okay. Hinata. Hinata. All righty. Pass. All right. Untap. Draw. We will go with a. First, like a white, white, or a Knight of the Orchid. ATB, since somebody's got more lands than me, I'll go fetch up planes. And then I'm also I'm just going to play a tapped land, tapped, and then I'll pass while I go fetch my planes. Got it. Draw. I think I actually have a snow land in here. Yeah, there we go. It's got the planes tied. Play Opal Palace. Oh, I can't even do it. I'm a dummy. Uh oh. Just a huge dummy. I will just, um, I'll move to attack. Yeah, I don't even don't think I can attack anybody. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> pass to you, my friend. All right. I'll on tap and draw. Play Swamp. No. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll just pass. Mm. All right, I'm tap. Upkeep. Draw. I'll pay an evolving wild and pass. Alright, one tap draw. Um I'll play in this land. Then we'll go four and attempt to cast Rick Commander. And if that's good I will pass. It's good. Um, yeah, you're good. All these blue players with their main up. <laughs> yep. How does he not a work when a card says like two or three targets already? And cost one more for each one. Yeah. So even if the card already targets like five things yeah, I'm not, five I'm not I'm not choosing additional targets each each target the card has will increase the cost by one hmm. unless it's like a destroy all or something yeah no, I understand like, that I just the card already reads it says like um, up to three target permanents, or if yeah. it's like a sublime epiphany where like target player draws a card, target player bounce or bounce target per it costs one for every single target. Okay. Draw. I keep forgetting Runo's upkeep trigger. Uh. Okay. Uh, just pass. Alright, oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna crack these two. And I'm gonna go get my lance. Yeah. Crazy. So counter spell even costs three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And his his costs one less. Like if he had a negate, he could cast it for blue. Yeah. Force of will will cost one mana. Yep. I don't know what I feel about it. about Hinata yet. Hinata is pretty strong. Yeah, I definitely forgot the triggers. Had I actually forgot the triggers, I would have won that game. Yeah, probably. She seems pretty tough. Damn it. Because he targeted Soul Ring and he targeted... Um, that would have been all his mana. Mm -hmm. Or he didn't have enough to cast it. Right. Well, if you see him again... Let him know. I'll let you win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was tired. By being bad at magic. 
<laughs> all right, so that that looks pretty decent right there. Love my land base. You got all, all right. the all the basics. Yeah, foil. I went and got on foil. Nice, nice. Um, I, I have every deck that I have. I have one deck that's like that. So, like, in my, I have an Olivia deck, and she's the same way right now. Oh, okay. So I have a lava grit, uh, lava pathway. I don't even know if I'm gonna cast that one. Let's go with this one. This one just seems better. Storm carved coast, which gives me another blue too, just in case some funny stuff goes on. Right. And then I'll tap two white, and then I'll play a Azoria signet. And then I, I shall honestly pass. Everybody seems like they're waiting for something. Well, at the end of your turn, actually, speaking about mm -hmm. waiting, I'm going to attempt a Reckless Spite. Uh, pay two to target Hinata and Brago. Okay. okay. Um, so priority goes to you first, Aragon. All right. I think I'm going to do two things. I'm going to... Oh, I got so much mana. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to at least... I'm going to tap. If I do that... I'll tap one red. Two tap. This. Um, is it Signet? And then I'm going to play a Volcanic Offering, right? <clears throat> what does that do? Um, destroy target non-basic land you don't control and target non-basic land of an opponent's. Uh, oh, you got land destruction? Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> Volcanic Offering deals 7 damage to target creature you don't control and Samix and 7 damage to target creature and opponent uh, of an opponent's choice you don't control. So actually, it's just one red. Cause I'm casting the spell, but you guys are picking the targets. So I'm going to cast that. I'm gonna hit your. I'm gonna hit your commander for seven. Who's? Um. Flare, flare, uh, flare of the hate bound. I'm gonna hit your commander for seven. Okay. And I'm going to destroy somebody's land. You have all basics over there. I have, the only non-basic is the Sunken Hollow. Everyone else has non-basics. I'll hit the Sunken Hollow. And then you have a choice to hit somebody else's stuff that isn't mine. Well, you have to hit somebody else's stuff that isn't mine. Okay. I guess a light pause. And... Well, he can hit... Uh... He, can hit Hanada. he can hit one of your lands, though, if he wanted. He can, he can hit one of my lands, either. You choose. Just target non basic land of. Oh, you don't control. You're right. Yeah. 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 I'll hit the untapped really snow good. duel. Um, yeah. That will die. All right. And then I will do my second part to this. I like that land anyway. Good. And then, isn't that land indestructible? No. No? No. Okay. I wish. That's cool. And then I'm going to cast a March of the Swirling Mist. And I'm going to phase out my commander. Nice. All right. So, so does this then... fizzle because it targets two creatures? No. It's it up to, right? Oh. Does it say up to? No, it says target, destroy target, two target. Oh, yeah, well, like... No, as, well, long as, uh, as long as the spell or an ability still has a target, it will still it, resolve. It, yeah, it will resolve. Okay. It had two legal targets when it was going on. Yeah. I wasn't sure because it doesn't say up to. Yeah. As long well, as it has one legal target, it'll do as much as it can. Well, I lose five life and then Brago gets blown up. All right. That was. All right. That was I something. Draw. 
We will go with a... Hmm. Well, I got more than I bargained for. I am going to go four for a core cartographer. Do I get a planes? I'm going to play an Azorius Chancery and bounce that planes back into my hand, and I will pass. Draw. Chilling. Trying to. Trying to chill, but I'm not drawing anything good, so I'm gonna just tap four and bring that creature out and pass the turn. Alright. I'm gonna tap and draw. Play swamp. Holy shit. Is he not a back or no? Uh -uh. Uh, hmm. Damn it. <laughs> You are really gonna kill Hinata right now. No, I was just asking if she was back so I could play something and not pay all my mana. Uh, I don't really know what to do. I can't do anything right now. I'll pass. All right. You gotta come back. Draw. I'll play a land for turn. And I'll I'll pass. I pass. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was muted. Um, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that doesn't seem like it's gonna work. How many cards do you have in hand over there, Aragon? Wow. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, three. Three cards. Yep. Okay, so maybe I can, uh, yeah, I will attempt to cast my commander. One, um, two, three, four, five, six. And then if that's good, I will pass. Draw. 
Pinkle Cove tapped. I'll pay three forest and two generic to enchant Opal's Palace. It'll be uh, tapped to add two mana of any color. The enchantment is called uh, Nature's Embrace. And then. Um, Did you pay one more to target it? Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> He nod his back, so. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll tap this. You gotta make me look like the bad guy here. <laughs> no. Kind of. No. Actually, can I take that back? Sure. I don't care. Okay. Doesn't. No, yeah, that's um, that's my bad for not paying attention. Um, it happens. It'd be happening to me. I don't pay attention half of the time, so. I played a, a, a Plains and an Island to put Soul Herder out there, and then um, I'll move to attack, and I will attack. Um, not a flies. Yeah. Rago flies. Um, I'll attack you, Flayer, for two. Sounds good. And then um, at the beginning of my end step, I'll exile another target creature I control and return it, so I'll just return him. And it gets your home encounter. Soul Hunter is good. Yeah, Soul uh, Hunter is very good. Yeah, especially in Brago. Yep. Yeah. Draw. Uh, Play a swamp. See, this is the issue. This is going to cost so much to... There's a five mana card in my deck that's going to cost like 11. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, the is hell? It, uh, Mystic Confluence or something? No. I'm going to attempt to die by like two da. Shouldn't have um, differently. Yeah. I got nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, it costs one more to target my library. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh. It's okay. Do I tutor for that? So neat. That's so needy. All the shit in my deck targets. What the hell? <laughs> I had nothing. I did, look, I didn't know. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I know. I'm going to grab that and then I'll attempt to cast uh, Heartless Summoning. Makes my creature spells cost two less, and my creatures get minus one, minus one. Okay. And I'll be done after that. Okay. Well, I don't need to untap. I'll draw. Ooh, not bad. All right. And I'll pass. Oh, boy. I know. It's, <laughs> yeah. I but love having some of kind of untap. The true Girl. control deck. You said what? The true control deck over here. Yeah, not as actually decent at controlling in a four-person game since it can target lots of things. <laughs> well, what sucks is all of my all of my removal spells are like target two creatures, target six things, target five things. <laughs> like, yeah, that's rough. All right, um, I'm a little jealous of your soul herder over there, so I'm gonna go. You're gonna copy it. I'm gonna copy it. Yeah. That's, that's the plan. We go four for a uh, mirror hole mimic. He's basically a clone, with, a clone with disturb. Um, he can enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except as a spirit. And the backside is like an enchantment that enchants something that uh, creates a copy of it every turn. Um, so I'll have that be a soul herder. Did you, did you pay the one? 
No, it doesn't clones target. Don't target. Oh, it doesn't target? No, no clones target, actually. Fun fact, you can, like, spark double a progenitus or something to get two progenitus. That's crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> how how hard to remember that. Yeah, I think uh, Spark Double and there's one other, or uh, Sakashima. I like the only two that get around the legendary yeah. roll. I'll go to attacks. Um, everybody's got flyers except for Flare. At some Sorry, point, I'll have a creature on the field. <laughs> I gotta send. Wait, do I wanna cast anything else? I'm done. No, that's fine. I'll just send two in the air at your player. Okay. Blink your uh, stuff. Attack. Yep, I'll blink all three of these. Does anybody have more than seven lands? Nope. Nope. All right, so I'll just get one planes that goes on the battlefield and three counters on the soul herder. Um, nice. And just a shortcut here. I'll go to end step and just blink this guy again. So I'm going to go four counters on the soul herder and two planes from my battlefield under the library tapped. Okay. Pass. Tapped. Um. Whose turn is it? It's my turn, sorry. Um Mr. Baby Legs. Mr. Baby Legs. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna... <coughs> six. And we'll try to play uh, Dazzling Sphinx. And, right. uh, uh, when he deals combat damage to a player, they'll, that player will exile cards from the top of their library. And not be able to cast this instant or sorcery spell. But either way... Um, I'll just go to attack, and I'll attack, I'll attack you, Flare, for two. Okay. <laughs> it's not me. No, people just feel the need to attack every turn. See, and I didn't even feel, you see, and I could have hit. Yeah, you could have been attacking every turn. It's just this weird yeah. compulsion. I'm just a sadist, yeah. And then, uh. I'll pass. Yeah, I mean, he gets, a, he gets a blink as dude anyway, so he's got pseudo-vigilance. Yeah. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play this Evolving Wilds, and then I got the two less. I'll attempt to cast Aether Squall Ancient. That sounds pretty big. It's a 6-6 six, six with flying... My upkeep, I get three energy, and then I can pay three, six, eight energy to return all other creatures to their owner's hands as a sorcery only. But it's a five five because of the heartless summoning. Okay. Gotcha. All right. And then I'll practice wilds for the, the fucking island and pass. Mm. I'll draw. Actually, do I... I will Let's see if I have any. I'll... Yeah. I'll get a snow island. I'll pass. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay. You know, I'll just I'll just do my thing that I've been doing this whole time. I'll just pass. Sounds 
Sounds good. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> One tap. Draw a card. Yeah, I finally drew a mana rock. Would you look at that? Oh, you know, three for a clue stone. Then we're gonna go three and cast a banisher priest. What does it do? On ETB, I get to exile a creature and opponent controls until he leaves the battlefield. Mm. Okay. You get to resolve. I'm, I'm gonna let him resolve. All right. Um, ETB, I'm going to exile. Um, let's say the Hanada. <laughs> Is it Hanada? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna put it, leave it in exile, or go to the command zone? Um, I'm going to with you targeting it because I just don't feel comfortable with it. Yeah. <clears throat> I will tap one mana, and then I will tap this, and I'm going to then chaos warp that creature. Hmm. You know, I kind of want to just let that resolve just to see what I flip. Yeah, you might get something um, spicy. Nah, I don't want to do that. Oh, is this going to cost me five? <laughs> I just want it. Mm. Yeah, that's going to cost me five. <laughs> Dang. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll leave it with two, three. All right, yeah, sure. Let's chaos warp it. Yeah. Cause I, I only use one. I only use one resource. I just wanted to keep it that way. Dang man, it's hard out here. <laughs> I know. I was hoping you'd just let it go back to your command zone, cause then I can blink it and exile the whale over there after. But that did not work out. I'm pretty good to have something, though. You should have just went for the well first. Yeah, it might have been a little greedy going for Nada. Hey, Temple of the False Gods. Yep, see? Um, now we will go like this, then. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to cast a Cloud Goat Ranger. When he he's a three three. When he enters the battlefield, I get three one one Kithkins. Then I can tap three Kithkins to give him plus two plus zero and flying until it turn. Um, so ETB he'll get three Kithkins. He's supposed to be my Kithkins for now. Where's the days? And then I will go to attacks. Um, I'm just going to send two in the air. Your, wait, does that thing fly? Yes. God, why do whales fly? I can't blink anything. It's a leviathan, I? I don't know. You guys keep attacking me every turn. I don't, like, chill out. <laughs> no, it's fair. It's <laughs> Dang, I should have fought more over that banisher priest. I realize I can't blink anything now. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> I should instead of the cloud goat. Something. Okay, I've done like okay. three well, things this game. And, and Aragon, is, Aragon hasn't even hit you. Yeah, and Aragon's countering and destroying shit. And you haven't bothered yeah. to attack him. I've only retaliated. That's because I can't hit him. I'm not really attacking for the damage. I'm only attacking for the blink trigger. Yeah. Um... So I will just, yeah, I guess I'll just go to end step after that. Um, blink the, uh, I'm just going to blink the core cartographer, go get a land, and pass. All right. This is where we should just board wipe right here. 
Yeah, you might as well. That's why I got a, a land instead of more chickens. Like, you should just reset the game. <laughs> Um, okay. I'll just stick with the original plan. We'll tap three, and I'll enchant the Dazzling Sphinx for plus two, plus two with uh, nature's embrace and that'll give it um so he's at um he's actually at seven eight because of thunderclap wyvern gives him a plus one plus one. and then he's at seven eight and then let's say fuck it and we'll tap the last four to put Yodai. I have a question. How much did that man? How much did that spell cost? Oh, um, shit. Yeah, you're right. Um, so that would have cost four then, and I would have only had three left over. So then, I'll go fuck myself. And okay. Um, let's see. I'll move to attack and I will see. anybody but me please anybody but me please anybody but me I was thinking you man honestly but like you know I'm kind of scared you should that you should attack him just to see what he's got in his hand I know I mean, I, or or you can attack somebody knowing what they have on the field like if Brago's there again let's be honest yeah, if you want a bunch of blinkable permanents, you can swing at me. But if you want a bunch of instants and sorceries that that actually lets you cast, might yeah, swing dazzling things might be good hitting Aragon. Yeah, but if yeah. you want a lot of, I mean, yeah, if you can only cast X spells though. Uh, instant. Oh yeah, true. So X spells will be useless because you're casting them without their mana cost. X will be zero. <laughs> I mean, he, he may not have an X spell. That he yeah, I mean, it, it might just be multi-target spells, yeah, or just target spells. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it might not be epic spells. Uh, but, I mean... Well, um... Alright, I'm gonna move to attack, and I'll attack you, Doom, for... seven. Is seven. that seven yeah. in the air? Seven, eight, yeah. Um... Yeah, sure, I'll take seven. Okay. Can I exile the top seven? Um, let's see. That player exiles cards from the top of the library until they exile an instant or sorcery card. Oh, just until I hit one. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like Chaos Wand. Unsubstantiate. Return target spell or creature to its owner's uh, hand. Spell or creature to its owner's hand, yeah. Um, okay. It'll cost yeah. one. It'll cost one from Hinata. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's for free, but not really. Yeah, yeah I'll. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, cast it. Yeah, I'm going to cast it. I'm just trying to figure out which one to cast oh, it. Yeah. Um, what are you targeting? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do we'll do Hinata, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay. 
Um, and then I'll move to exile, and then I'll just, um, I'll just do it with just with this guy, and then that will get another counter, and then I'll pass the turn. He's going to move to exile. Amazing. Let's have upkeep get three energy. Draw. Play landscape. Let's see. One, two. Oh, yeah. So he not is on the field anymore, so I can do three. I'm going to tap five, cast Aether Gal. Aether Gale. <laughs> and I'm not the target this time. I shouldn't be, but I'm pretty sure you're probably going to hit me. No, I'm actually not. I'm going to target all Baby Legs' creatures, the, the clone, and Brago. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I knew it was the reason why you didn't want to be not on the battlefield. That's why I pointed. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Hinata was making this cost 11. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. I, I, I think you just wanted off the battlefield, so I was like, let me just get off the battlefield. And I'm just going to stay put and pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'll play a land for turn. And then I'll recast Hinata. Yep. No. I'll, I'll pass again. All right. My untap. Man. Draw. Um. Hmm. I am going to go four for my commander. So I'll tap the chancery in the temple. Or Braga. Yep. Um, let's see, what do we want to copy? Um, maybe Hinata would be Wouldn't interesting. Be bad. They'd cancel each other out, essentially. For us, at least. And then oh. your guys' stuff would just cost two more. Yep. Um... So yeah, I'll, I probably shouldn't have said that before I cast the clone. <laughs> um, but I'll attempt to cast the clone. Mm, no yep. Alright, so I'll copy another. One second. You're not tapped out, are you, Zoom? You saw those planes? Um, I have five men open. Um, in response to the cast, because it enter as if it's not there, you can't choose it, right? Correct. So what happens if he goes else. away? Huh? What happens? I have to if... choose something else. Oh. Because it's not a target, so it's not like I've actually I actually just prematurely announced that I was going to pick Hinata, which is pretty dumb, because I don't well, actually choose until he's entering. Um. Well, it's play, um, it's like it's a it's a line between enter and casting. I'm gonna choose Ottawa, and I'm gonna bounce it, uh, my commander back to my hand. Channel ah, ooh. All right. Um, I guess I will just copy the um the whale. Hmm. How many energy? You at six energy right now, right? Oh yeah. I'm I'll, be at, I'll, I'll be at I'll be at six three. on my turn. Oh, you're yeah. six in your turn? Uh, it's been around for two turns, though. I guess two no, turns. No, was just first one. Oh, okay. You just play your commander, so. Yeah, I think I'm just actually going to copy the Cloud Goat Ranger. So you have three more tokens. <laughs> okay. I don't have summoning sickness. I got two Cloud Goat Rangers. Then. We will go to attacks. I will send 
see, let's see. Basically, these guys can attack, these guys cannot. So, you got the whale over there, and the whale. So, I'm going to send the Cloud Goat Ranger um, at you, Flare, um, who can be. Wait, no. Can he be pumped enough? How big is that whale? It's a 5 5 right now. Oh, yeah, so I'll send him. He can be pumped up to 5. At you, um, I'm going to send um, this 5. The two and three one ones over at you, Aragon, and then the core cartographer is just gonna come at you for two baby legs. Yeah. So how much how much am I getting hit with? You're getting hit with five, and then Flare is currently three coming at you. No block. Um. Then. So what has five? It's three um, one ones in a two two. Yep, these are hitting you, Aragon. Okay. Um, I will not pump him then. Why not? I'll leave the blockers up. So you'll just take three. Um, then I will just pass. Yep. <clears throat> Draw. Anamorphic expense. Um, let's just two blue and three generic. Then we'll put Dazzling Sphinx back out there. And then um, that'll be it. I'm just going to crack Terramorphic Expanse and go grab a island and pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, get three more energy. Draw. Play a swamp. I'm gonna crack the landscape and get two islands. I think. And I'll. combat and swing five in the air at doom um let's see how big is the sphinx again the sphinx, the sphinx uh, only four, five. Five. we got a five five um yeah i'll take five Let's see. End of your turn. 
I'm going to go. Well, no, that's that's all right. I'll just pass. I'm gonna upkeep. Um, combine those. I just got six untapped now, and then draw. This land for turn. Um, then we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go. Plains and a well, actually, I'll go it's blue stone in a temple and cast a banishing light. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to counter that one. Um. In response, I'm going to go blue, blue. Oh, yeah, did you pay the extra one also on that? Yep. Nice. Blue, blue, three, four, and flash in Venzer, Shaper Savant. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then you get to play it again. Game. You get to resolve. Yeah. I mean, you're bouncing it back to his hand. I'm going to bounce the Banishing Light back to my hand. Oh. Yeah, so the counter spell will fizzle. Then I'm going to go... Three, and cast a Banishing Light. What? No way. <laughs> no, right? Um, so that's good to resolve. I'm gonna exile. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna get greedy and target Hinata again this time. I think I'm just gonna hit the whale. <laughs> <laughs> just so he doesn't bounce my board. I don't get it. Um, then I will go to attacks. I'm gonna send. Let's see, Brago is going to go at Flare so I can get the trigger. And then we're going to send the six one ones over at... Or actually, I don't think I want to send the one ones. I think I'm going to send the Cloud Goat Ranger at you, Aragonius. How big is he? He is a 3-3, three, three, but he can be pumped to a 7-3 at the moment. Okay. And this is also a Cloud Goat. Um, I'm going to send this Cloud Goat over your way, baby legs. So I could pump... Basically, I can pump plus 2, plus 0 total twice between these two. By tapping these Kithkins that are staying home. All right. So... <clears throat> This is what I'll do. Um, I'm going to tap. I feel like this math is about to be really, really fucked up and all. I'm going to, let me see. Oh, that'll work. I'm trying really not to be salty this game, but like when you feel the need to attack every turn and you keep hitting um, the person that doesn't, is I'm not just trying doing to see if a whole I should, lot, um, and you need to target the person that's not these, doing a whole I'm lot. To pump all that like, into it. So here, it's hard not here, to be fucking salty. Here, and here. Like, that's, Two. I've I've literally played. I'm gonna cast this Aurelius Fury because there's a lot of shit going on. I tried to hit some stuff. All right, I'm gonna target 
I played the fucking one, two, whale three, four, five, played my commander six, and tutor for that. One, two, three, four, five, eleven, right, twelve. So it's like I don't I don't understand. Thirteen, people. fourteen, fifteen. I have fifteen targets, <clears throat> so it's gonna be What is this? Aurelius Fury. Oh, okay, I got it. So two of that is gonna go to So it costs how much less? <laughs> Um, 15 less. Wow. So it just costs the red and the white? Red and the white plus the 15 that I'm about to use. Plus I put two into it. All right. So my first target is Brago. It's going to be the six one ones. Hold on. Let me make sure I tap that right here. Brago. Which a pretty cool card. Um, so it's going to be every creature on your battlefield, but you have two extra going at Brago. Every creature on your side, baby legs. Every creature, if you had a creature, it'll be on your side. And I also target each one of you guys. Okay. Um. <clears throat> You're only stealing like 15 damage to each of those targets? No, it's, 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 it's divided. Oh, okay. I was like, damn. So how is it divided? So everything and every person gets one and Brago gets three. Okay. I'll take one, Wait, so two. all the creatures on my board would take one damage? Yes. So one, two, three, four. And Brago's five, only taking three? Eleven. Brago's how big? Because I need to make sure I need to put... If He's I a two, more. four. Oh, hold on. Pause. Just need to make sure. I always wanted to make sure. I will use one extra of those to uh, target Brago. That's what make sure Brago dies. Brago has to die because if you get the blink effect, then so you'd have to pay up. another mana for that. Then, right? There we go. All right. Um. Then, in response to that, I'm going to cast a. Yeah, we go four and cast a Restoration Angel. Okay. Can't do Is that good to resolve? All right. Blink Benzer. Nice. <laughs> Bounce the Aurelia's Fury back to your hand. Oh, boy. Okay. And then... Yeah, then we go to blocks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Take two. All right, so there's a cloud goat coming at baby legs and Aragon. How okay. many times have you hit me with Brago? I haven't been tracking. Um, You don't need to track it. It's If I ever do 21 commander to somebody with Brago, then something's going <laughs> to bro. I've seen a Voltron Brago. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any Voltron stuff in here. Uh, I'll take your I'll take your attack. Okay, and no blocks. All right, all the one that um, is hitting you, Aragon. I'll tap six uh, Kithkins to give it plus four, so he'll hit you for seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, then on damage, I'm gonna blink the stuff. So, Clue Stone, Knight, um, Brago, ETB, 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 ETB. This is going to enter as a copy of the Sphinx. Um, actually, no, we'll do a copy of Hinata. And then mm -hmm. um, Venser is going to enter targeting Hinata. Um... Cloud Goat Ranger is just going to make me three more humans. So I got three tapped, three untapped, six tapped. That's just going to search. Um, and Restoration Angel is going to enter targeting. Hold on. Uh, Never mind. That entered the battlefield. Never mind. Go ahead. I think just targeting a. Uh, maybe. 
the Cloud Goat. So it'll blink him, make three more, so I get six. Then I go search for a Plains. And yeah, that is my turn. And this is what I'm not at the moment. Yep. So. Mm. Anybody got a blue light? No, not right now. What was that? Does anybody have a board light? Uh, at some point, I'll get it. If I draw. This deck's more annoying than... It's not as annoying anymore, but... Um, okay, I'm gonna pay a blue plus three. And I'm gonna play this card, this enchantment, Reflections of Lich Jara. See if they... Nice. Um, I, choose, I choose Spirit. Whoa. And, yeah. And then um, I'm going to tap three planes and an island to do another to put Soul Hoarder back out there. I'll create a copy of Soul Hoarder from Reflections. And then uh, I'll move to attack and I will attack you, Era, for four with Dazzling Sphinx. And uh, you'll just exile cards till you reveal instant or sorcery. Oh, then you'll get the top one. Uh, the first one, yeah. Um, you get the exile. And you have one. So you get a target, maybe his Brago or the Hanada, or you have targets. Because when I play Hanada, it's going to be two more. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got yeah. to pay, pay one for that. I'll pay the one. Oh, but I'm, I don't have enough then, though, right? Because no, you only, it's only one. All you got to do is yeah, target you can one. cast it for free. Oh. Yeah, but okay. it's free plus the one if he not plus, a, Doesn't he not yeah. make, have to do another one? There's only no, one it's, no, it's only his only his he not is out. So you should, if you're going to do it, you should target before I play mines because you'd be targeting two. Paying two extra to target something. I mean, yeah, if I can do it, I'll, I'll cast that on your copy of he not a, if I can just pay the one to do that. Yeah, you can do that. Um, in response to that, because I don't want to get the Aurelius thing. To, ooh, I blink it though. I can't uh, have a copy of Hanada. Rip. Um, I guess this, this is all I can do anyway. I'm just going to cast Ghostly Flicker. Last card in my hand. Uh, oh, it only cost me one mana. Um, exile two target artifacts, creatures, and or lands I control. Return them to my battle battlefield under my control. So I'm going to blank probably this and maybe this. No, this. Sure. And then that's I think that's the majority of his mana. So if he if he keeps getting it, then I could probably do something. Yeah, I'm at a cards in my hand at this point. Yeah, I'll do these. Um, this will enter as a copy of one of your soul herders. This will enter targeting the cloud goat ranger. Um, it'll blink the cloud goat ranger. So what does that enter as again? The soul herder. Uh, this, this is a soul herder now. Okay. So um, I'll get three more things from the... Uh, Duo, and then my soul herder will get a counter, and yeah, that's all. That's all I got. Out of tricks. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So he's tapped. Um, Era, you will take four from taking the damage from, from him. I believe. Okay. Um, and then at my end step, I'll just um, use soul herder to blink him twice, and they'll both get a counter. Um, I'll pass my turn. Well, I think I think they'll both get two counters at once. 
No, well, he can you'll only actually be able to blink it once because the second trigger will fizzle because it'll be oh. a new object. Both the oh. triggers go in the stack at the same time, targeting the Sphinx. Oh, well, so they'll, guess... both, well, they'll both get one counter anyways. Yeah, so uh, they'll both get a counter, yeah. I see. But it only yeah. blinks once. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Wow, okay. uh, very good. Very good, sir. Yeah. I'll cast Runo for the reduction. And, uh, then I'll, then I'll be a punk and foretell this card. I don't know. And we'll never see it coming. Maybe. Maybe we'll see it coming. Go ahead. I like Behold the Multiverse, too. That one's actually pretty neat. So I have that in my, uh, Calamax deck. Mm. I'll play a land. I will tap the two and recast Hinata. Let's get killed in GTA or something. Hmm? Wasted. It sounded like someone died in GTA, like someone was playing GTA in the background or something. Hmm. Maybe your uh, mic. Maybe your uh, headset taunted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't um, have GTA. I thought I heard someone getting like killed and then sped up. Anyway. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Holy shit! Um. I'll pass. No, I'm not going to pass. No, I'm going to just do this shit now. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's going to do it. He's He's doing it. Ah, jeez. Oh, Lord. He's going to play Mirror Box and then copy his Hinata. No, I'm about to play a recast. Yeah, while my hand's empty. Yep. And then I'm going to do... The extra damage to Brago like I did before. So how much damage extra is it? Are you just is it it's just three four. extra? It's gonna be four. Yeah, it's gonna be three extra. Yeah. All right. So, so that's Brago be- and everything with one toughness dies, right? Yep. There goes your goats. Yes. Bye oh, bye bye. Damn goats. There went down. Bye bye. The the Goat Street Boys. Was that a (laughs) (laughs) Oh, but also everybody took one, too. Oh, yeah, true. Goat Sink Boys, isn't it? Eric, Goats, Goats, Goat Sink. I'll I'll pass after that. I don't know what it is anymore. (laughs) And draw some card draw. That's I don't know if anybody good. ever watched um, Pokemon, but when you watch Pokemon, yeah. who ever seen a new Pokemon X? I don't watch Pokemon anymore. Oh, no, I haven't watched Pokemon. I've seen some of the newer ones because my kids watch it, but I don't it's like, like watch, this Pokemon, watch it. Um, like um, Xerneas or something like that. That's what this thing looks like. That's the only reason why, because like X and Y. Oh, okay. Uh, like I haven't watched game. Pokemon since fucking Johto. <laughs> That's not actually a bit. Yeah. I used to watch. I used to watch it like uh, in the morning before school. Yeah, that's when I used like to even watch when it. I was playing Gen Four. Pokemon and Rugrats. I never. When I... they used to come out with the books. No, no, Pokemon I had books. Brago. You're gonna cast Brago. Yeah. I'm gonna attempt to. Mana. I'm gonna attempt to wash away Brago. Um, yeah, and I will counter target spell outside of the game. Any cards in my hand, (laughs) or I'm gonna cast momentary blink targeting, um, Vencer. Vencer, yeah. Did you pay the extra one? Uh, I will pay the extra one. 
Okay. All right, Blink. Uh, this has flashback also for four, just so you know. Um, blink it, bounce Brago to my hand. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I got no other cards in hand. I might as well, right? Go four. Attempt to cast Brago. <laughs> right, I'm going to try to saw it coming. Oh, man, I did not see that coming. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right, I'll go back to the command zone. I'll take that, though. Two counter spells for it. That's fair. Yeah. Um, it's a threat to society. Then... <laughs> Peter, give me pictures of Brago. Let's see what I want to do. It's a You get four, four. I will just... Um... You have my whale captured in... <laughs> you got my whale. That's fair, yeah. I do got your whale under the banish light here. I'm gonna call PETA on you. <laughs> I think I'm actually just gonna go to end step. Blink the restoration angel who's gonna blink the um the goat boy. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Blink yeah, the goat, goat boy. boy. So I'll get three goats and he gets two counters because two things got blinked. And pass. I'm actually going to try to find my kids because I got some here. I have one card in hand. Um. It's a whole game of nothing. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, I'm going to play one. Mountain. Um, Everyone's tapped out. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Gonna play this Greya Drone. Greya Drone Dihada Planeswalker. Uh, nice. Four lawyers. I haven't, this before. I um, haven't um, really seen her in action yet. I haven't seen her in action. Yet. She she looks really, really cool, cool though. Um, and then I will do a plus one. Permanent. I'll do a plus one. Uh, each opponent loses two life. I'll gain two life. You put and a corruption then, counter on something. I'm going to put a corruption counter onto one other target creature, Planeswalker. I'm going to put a, actually put a corruption counter on your goat boy, Doom. <laughs> He's uh, a corrupted goat boy. Corrupted goat man. And then... Uh, and then I have four mana left here. I will. Well, I'll move to attack, and I will. Um. How much is Restoration Angel? Three, four. That's your only flying flying creature is Restoration Angel. Um. Yes, I can technically make the goat. Fly the goat guy fly until end of turn if I tap three kithkins down. Oh, okay. So these would be my two flyers, yeah. And that would make cloud goat a five. It'd be a five three flyer, yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, I'll uh Yeah, I'll I'll go to swing at you for for four doom. Um, yeah, I will take four. Okay, and then you can um, exile and reveal an instant or sorcery card. Reverent oh, Hoplite, Path of Ancestry. Yeah, I was about to draw something that gave me so many tokens. I should have uh -huh. just let it. <laughs> that sucks. All right, uh, Vince, or Jace, um, 
Same thing. Island, another Jace. Ninth Patrol. I don't have a lot of instants and sorcerers in here. Rambunctious Mutt, Thought Missile, Belvoir Stone, Planes, <laughs> World of Rogue, Land. Running through the deck now. Yeah, I don't have a lot of instants and sorceries. Clones, walls. I like clones. Oh, Asian Treachery, that's a main one now. Fuck that card. <laughs> that's a main one. all the way to New Zealand. Especially when you're blinking. Oh, oh there you Nova. go. There you go. Yeah, you gotta Blow destroy up. all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Um, well, I only have one enchantment, so maybe I should just do that. There's, um, there's really not I, a whole give, lot of... I'm actually not going to do that. I'm not going to cast that card. I'm just going to pay four here, and I'll bring my commander out, I think. Yeah. Can't you do that at flash speed though? You can do that. You could destroy something, put something on, or put a bring it out at flash speed, and put an indestructible counter on something, while it destroys the rest of everything. It's okay. Yeah, you could blow up the whole board and then flash it in in response. Oh, I see. Like use the yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but then I wouldn't have enough mana to do that though, right? Because I only have four mana. Well, no, it's for free. It doesn't target. Yeah, Cleansing Nova doesn't target. It... Wait, what makes it indestructible? His, it gives he, indestructible? Aragon is saying if he were to use your Nova, he could flash in his commander, make oh, Death yeah. Sphinx indestructible. <clears throat> yep, that is true. But um, he doesn't have to. I don't. I was just saying, that's just the way of just using your commander. I see. Uh, but I, one thing I'm just confused about is like the cleansing Nova. I can. You got the target. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just the um, board wipe. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Fuck it. You'll nice. you'll play the Nova and then. I'll play the Nova and then I'll and then I'll flash in, um, the commander right, making this indestructible. Yeah. 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 I'm Are gonna make my permanence indestructible. Not to say I didn't have a backup plan for it, but I was saying that like that's why I didn't tap out. But I was saying that that would probably be the best move in that scenario. Yeah, definitely. So Even though, everything but Dazzling Sphinx, your commander and Hinata are blown up. I gave my stuff in the uh, indestructible. Yeah, that's why I said everything but. Oh, is this commander indestructible too? Uh, nope. I guess I, your I, commander I, dies. I guess he does, right? Yeah, yeah but, but Dazzling, Dazzling Sphinx things. doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and now you got a lot of targets too. That's what's really, really crazy. Um, oh, your commander's a spirit. So reflections of litter jar. Never mind. That doesn't make. Is that? Uh, he actually technically would have been able to save two things. Um, he would have been able to yeah, you, you, cast, you cast your commander, and then the reflections would make a copy of your commander, and the reflections would come in first. So you could save your soul herder, too, if you wanted. Or you could save his commander. Oh, yeah, you'd be able to save your commander. That's true, yeah. Because that says all ETV, right? Yeah. yeah. So you get to save a second creature, baby legs, if you wanted to. So I could do that. Oh, no, it's a cast. Never mind. It's a, it's a cast, so it won't even be on the battlefield. Oh, yep, you're right. It is so a cast. So you could save a soul herder if that was what it was. Yeah. So it would be like a soul herder. Uh, but it's only if I cast that Or spell. technically, he can save the token copy of his commander. Yeah. Because his commander copy. could save the copy when it came in. And the copy, the copy would save the Sphinx, the commander would save the copy. So you could have a token copy of your commander out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the stack is weird. Yeah, yeah it is. But you're but you have a yes. token copy of your commander that's indestructible. And or you can copy, make the soul herder indestructible. No, he's gonna make the Sphinx and the token copy of okay. his commander indestructible. So um, much shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean like it's like this so like the, the commander flashed <laughs> and made this indestructible, then this triggered and it made a copy. 
Reverse yeah. order, actually. You cast your commander, then the token came in and made oh. the Sphinx indestructible. Then your commander resolves, and it comes in. It immediately dies, but then its ETB trigger goes to the stack and saves the gives the cl uh, copy of it indestructible. Got it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Win. Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. uh, facing with me, Al. I'm actually pretty The cool. stack. Yeah, no worries. Um, okay. uh, so I guess that's my turn, because I already moved to attack you and played the everything I could. So, yeah. Yep. Yepers. Hell yeah. I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm top decking now. Hell yeah. Top deck for the win. There's so much card drawn here, too. Like things that say, when this enters the battlefield, draw two cards. <laughs> wow. Well, can't win them all. Yeah. <laughs> True. I think it's on you, Aragon. All right. Sheesh. Uh... You got two cards. Two cards. I'll draw. I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time. Play a spell? Nah, swing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I yeah, I guess swing. This is pretty good. Is that four coming at me? Yeah, for that? once, right? It, it's launched a fleet. I'm going to just pay one. And then I'm going to send. Um, it says uh, until end of turn, any number of target creatures. Um, creatures each gain whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one, uh, put a one one white soldier token onto the battlefield tap and attacking. So I'm going to swing four at Mr. Doom, and I'm going to swing. And the one one that's coming in tapped and attacking at flare. How many cards did you have? Hold on, pause. I'm not swinging. I just I just realized what was going on. I'm not swinging nothing. I'm not even casting that spell because I forget that little thing is on the battlefield, and I don't trust that either. What thing? That that thing that takes cards out of our hands. I mean, out of our libraries. Oh, the sphinx. Yeah. <clears throat> I just don't want to be targeted. I just realized things. I don't want to be targeted anymore. Because I don't know what I'm going to get anymore. I know, like, only cast one, two, three, four. He cast that one, five, six. So I don't know. Well, it's an instant or sorcery, so. Huh? It's instant or sorcery, so. Yeah, and I don't know what he could, I don't know what he could get from me now, which makes oh, me really nervous. Oh, okay. Are you going to pass? Yep. All right. Let's see what we got on the old top deck here. Don't be a land. Oh, oh yeah. I I exactly. I don't want to actually want to cast it. I just assumed I was going to cast it, but I was like, wait, that's one card where I might actually hold it. <laughs> that's uh, um, fucking detention too. Yeah. It's a good blink, blink target. Um, I think I'm just going to... I guess I'll cast it if I have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it would be nine, ten this time. Holy fuck. Cast oh, Brago. Brago. Braj. Brajo. He got to resolve? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, nice. All right. I will, um... I'm going to go three, cast a detention sphere, I guess. What does it do? Actually, no, I don't want to cast a detention sphere. I forgot I got the thing. No, I'll do it. Yeah, why not? Screw it. I already showed it. Um, so exile, target, non-land permanent, and all other non-land permanents with the same name. So it's a good sweeper for tokens, but there's no tokens out. Um, and then when it leaves the battlefield, return them to the battlefield. So it's kind of just like a bit better banishing light. Um... Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out. So that's on the stack. Yeah. What, what is your plans? I don't. Really tell you. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 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 um, 
Um, That's why I tried to exile. counter. I tried to counter banishing light, even though I didn't know he was gonna. Talk what what enchantment? What does your commander do? Baby legs? Oh, just plus um, five, plus five. That's a whole lot, honestly. It's just, um, you know. I would get I can, rid of the sphinx. I can pump it five five, um, but that's about it. Either I get rid of the sphinx because if you start playing that cards from the top of my library. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, honestly, I don't even know what I'm gonna exile with it. You know what I'm saying? So, what are you targeting? Because I, if, you, if I feel like you about to hit my commander, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I, I almost just want to say I'm gonna hit your commander then just to force a response. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna target. So, I may take or may or may not target your commander. I don't think that's the best target, but okay. All right, um, so good to resolve. No, I'm going I'm to counter it, just because I didn't like that. All right, fair enough. I'm going to unwind it, and then I'll have one floating, so I'll tap this for a blue, and then I'll untap everything. <clears throat> All right, and then Damn. I will pass turn. Because it was it was so, like, he didn't have to sit there and do that. He could have just left it alone. <laughs> I really didn't want to exile anything super Richard. bad. Um Pulling a counter spell out of your hand was actually. Really I mean, it's a, it's an army of these things in here. <laughs> so now if I draw something that I actually do want to cast, counter spell tribal. Son of a goat. Um. Okie dokie. I'm gonna pump this up to one. Uh, each opponent loses two. I gain two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a corruption counter on Brago. Damn. And uh, <laughs> Can it be still it? It's still worth it. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, you can. Are you sure you don't want to steal Brago? Huh? You could steal Brago, swing with him, blink your planeswalker, and plus it again. Holy shit. I mean, you don't have to. But if I blinked it, wouldn't it just be back at its original? Yeah, but it would be. Yeah, it would, but you would could use funny, it again. Though. That's the thing with planeswalkers. If if they, if you blink a planeswalker, you just get to use it again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that's what's cool about blinking planeswalkers. Yeah, that's like a handful of mistake. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I feel like I've made a lot. I took take back a few things already, so I'm not. I'm just gonna keep going there. Okay. Um, step three will enchant armadillo cloak to this dazzling sphinx. What does armadillo uh, cloak do? Uh, gets plus two two and has trample and also lifelink. I think I'm gonna attempt to. I'm gonna attempt to dissipate that, that. Um. Okay. It it, so it gets exiled. <clears throat> exiled. Well, um, I'm just gonna pay the. My last four, then, to put Underclad Wyvern out, question mark? Yep. And um, other flying creatures get plus one, plus one. And then uh, I'll go to attack, and I will attack. Um, I'll attack you for four, Doom. Or five. I'm sorry, five. Actually, I'll swing at you for, for five and four, Doom. For nine? Yeah. All right, I will take nine. Right. And I will take a peek at you. Yeah, soul oh, I already did this. You're probably going to just <laughs> draw a bunch of cards. Ephemerate. You can blink one of your creatures. Okay. Um, How does rebound work with this? Do you get to cast it on your own? Um, 
exile it as a result of the of your next upkeep. I guess you would get it. Oh no, it's, you only get rebound if you cast it from your hand. Oh, okay. So he won't uh, get the rebound. Okay, I'll just, um, I'll blink the Sphinx back in. Yeah, right. It won't have the indestructible counter anymore. Oh, really? Um, You could blink your, no, that's a, that's a copy of your commander. Oh, and then yeah, it would disappear. Yeah. Um, it's kind of not okay. worth using it, to be honest. Yeah, you can just leave it in exile. Yeah, it's, it can be exiled. I'll pass. At the end of your turn, I'll attempt to flash in Pearl Lake Ancient. What does it do? Flash, can't be countered, prowess, return three lands you control to return Pearl Lake to its owner's hand. I'm going to counter it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I you got could, no cards you could try to, but it wouldn't resolve. I can venture it. Yeah, you can. Uh, I got zero cards in hand. Me too. Uh, go to combat. Swing. Swing a 5 6 at Baby Legs. He has haste. I flashed him in at the end of your turn. Oh. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm gonna swing it at your planeswalker. Oh, okay. Um, I'll block with the uh, thunderclap wyvern. Okay. Um, uh, and that's you. You're good to go there. Yeah. And let's see, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll attempt to cast Bruno. Runo Mars. Fuck. And say go. All right. One card. All right. I'll tap and I will play a Curse of Swine. Oh boy. And I'm going to target all the creatures on the battle for this Uh In response, I'll pay four life and one to target Hinata with Snuff Out. Okay. All right. And then, in also response, I'll pay. I'll return three lands to my hand to bounce Pearl Lake to my hand. All right, and everything else gets exiled. Just like it got super quiet, and everybody gets a two-two pig. That's <laughs> super quiet. <laughs> a two-two piggy. I think I'm four here. For each six. creature. Or... Yeah, for each creature that died, and I'll recast him out of a six. Shit. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that was the first time she actually died this whole game. Yeah. <laughs> And I will pass the turn. All right. I'm going to untap, draw. Um, I am going to see what all we got. I have all counter spells and removal in my graveyard. What the fuck? Where are all my creatures? Hmm. I totally forgot I had that disturbed thing. That's okay. <laughs> we'll go, um... Oh yeah, he had the disturbed thing. Hey. Remember when that thing went into your graveyard? 
I'm gonna pay uh, 12 mana <laughs> just cast <guess> Strike Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or the uh. Yeah, and then. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and pass. You're gonna attack with your pigs? Um, you battle? No. My pigs are pretty valuable to me at this point. I will draw three. Um, it's the pigs from uh, Princess Mononoke. So that's two, four, five, six. I don't know why, but your commander from here, Baby Legs, looks like Big Bird. He does kind of right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Hey guys, what's going on? Fucking hell! All I'm right. here to protect you. <laughs> I will pay. Two planes. And your commander is Elmo. Or your planeswalker. Yeah. It's a partner thingy. Um, That'd be cool if she was part, play, partner planeswalker. Delta. Um, she's just equal to the amount of spirits or enchantments I control. So it's only... Uh, I'm sorry. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. So, um... Da -da -da. I was not a fan of that art. I like it, but it's like you know, it's not the craziest art ever. The backside, of, the backside looks like she's on DMT. Yeah, I like the backside. That actually looks pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm gonna take down three and I'm going to gain control of target creature planeswalker I'll gain control of Brago and I will uh, untap it and then I will um, move to combat oops I'll see my hand and then um, I'll move to combat and I'll attack you for two with Brago Mr. Doom I will take two and then um, I'll blink my thingy back in. I should have attacked with my boars, I guess, but whatever. I have a question. How yeah. did he kill the Brago? Huh? How did he kill the Brago? Oh, so um, Greya Drone Dihada's minus three. It, she was at six, so I minus three. Uh, gain control of target creature, Planeswalker, until end of turn. Untap it and put a corruption counter Oh, on. shit. Um, so I did that, and then I blinked her. I'll do the plus one, so now they're back at four, and I'll put a, um, I'll just put a corruption counter on Hinata for now, and then um, I Wait, will... lose two life. Yep, we oh. lose two life. Oh yeah, you all lose two, and I gain two as well. And then I will pass the turn. Yep. Untap, draw. Oh, look. I drew this. So I'm going <laughs> to... Temporal Mastery for its miracle cost. Hey. <clears throat> he did the thing. You paid one extra for that? It doesn't that target. Doesn't target. It doesn't say target player take an extra turn? No. No. It just says take oh, wow. an extra turn. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, play land. Then I'll go to combat and swing my 2-2 two -two 
Hey, got your planeswalker. Um, I will block with a piggy. Okay. And then I will. One, two, three. I'll recast Pearl like Ancient. And then I'll pass the turn to myself. <laughs> Draw, go to combat, swing five at the planeswalker. Um, I'll block with a piggy. Okay. Play a land, and second main. One, two, three. A tap four, cast Thassa Deep Dwelling. Nice. So is this your second turn? Yeah, this is my second turn. Uh, uh I'll go to my end step and target Pearl Lake with the Thassa. In response to Thassa, actually. Um, oh, you re responded to me casting? I'm, yes, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to pay. Well, I guess I have to pay since I'm targeting a creature. I have well, to you're pay. targeting a spell. Oh, yeah. So, um, it's, uh, you have to pay three, I guess. Yeah. Hmm? Cameron targets spell, and this is controller pays three. No, I shouldn't have done that. exile it. Uh, okay. I'll pay the three. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, no, I forgot about my death. Uh, then I'll go to my instep and flicker Pearl Lake. Pass. Okay. Let's see if I got something here. What you got? All right. Um, all right. All right, all right, all right. How many cards in hand, everybody? One. Oh, I got one, I forgot. Yeah, Two. one. All right, I'm going to try and see what's going to happen here. Um... Wheel. I'm gonna be completely tapped out after this, I think. Oh. Yeah. Think. Um. So that's four, five. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. And then I can do twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What the hell? So I'll leave one untapped. Cause I can that way I can have another backup. I'm just trying to make sure. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, oh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, I think this is correct. What? I'm going to play Crackle with Power. That's a good one. Uh, five times. Five times. Well, it it's XXX, so each three axes is one. Right. So that means that I, that's why I did the math for it. So I have that to be two. So basically, it's just red, red, X, X. Because for each target, oh, yeah. you move one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
So this is the this is the red the, red. Then you got the, one two three. So it'll be one two. Then it'll be three four. And then each of you discount it. So it'll be um five and then six. If that's correct. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the discount from Yad to it'll be six. Okay. So that'll be I'm gonna target Flair. I'm gonna target um Mr. Doom. I'm gonna target your commander. I'm gonna count um target baby legs. And I get one more target. The planeswalker, probably. Like, yeah, the planeswalker. Okay. So, so how much damage is that? Thirty. Thirty damage to each of those things. Yeah. Thirty. Oh, yeah, baby lives is gonna survive with eight, but me and you are dead, player. Oh yep. shit. GG. GG. In response, I'll bounce Pearl Lake to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, card drawn, drop my library. So that'll be the command. That'll be a creature, too. Wow. That was interesting. Did you target yeah. my creature also? Wow. Yeah, I targeted the creature, too. You targeted everything. Everything. Yikes. My next card was a land. And then I'll hit you for four um, baby legs. Okay. I will take four going down to four. All right. Interesting. What is it like a was that a bad play? No, I just It was a horrible play. I would never do that. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> that, was, that was sweet. I like Crackle with used... Power. That's actually one of my win cons and prosper. I've only used Crackle with Power once and that's because I made infinite red mana and it was it's like I didn't really have to count. Yeah, Crackle with Power is a confusing ass card. Yeah, it only takes like <laughs> one of it. Yeah, it definitely. Need, like a calculator and a pen and paper to figure out what's going on. But... And well, I had to look, look. And a pen and paper. Yeah. Look, if you looked at my screen right now, on the other side of it, on the other tab, I was looking at it and uh, and gather. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's confusing, yeah. <laughs> like, especially how I worked with my commander. I was like, let me make sure I'm correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good card with Hinata. Oh, yeah. We'll tap one, two, three, four, five, six with my commander. Um, and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Uh, and I believe that is game. Probably. I would imagine um, so. Sublime Epiphany. Daddies. Yep. Down's your commander. Yeah, nice. GG. GG, guys. GG. Have a good one. All right, you, you too. Easy. Holy buck.